For more on that poll, you can visit channel3000.com. And while the poll shows the governor is leading, his campaign is still attacking Tom Barrett on crime numbers in Milwaukee. But political reporter Jessica Arp tells us there may be more than just Barrett to blame in tonight's reality check. The latest ad from Governor Scott Walker conveniently blames Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett rather than the police chief for alleged misreporting of crime statistics. This two-year-old spent six days in intensive care after being severely beaten. But Tom Barrett's police department didn't consider it a violent crime. This needs clarification. First of all, while Mayor Barrett is in charge of the city, Chief Edward Flynn is in charge of the police department. And it's the department's actions which were scrutinized in a recent Milwaukee Journal Sentinel investigation saying the department misreported crimes. They highlighted the case of Carmari Curtis, the two-year-old referenced in the ad. His stepfather beating him in 2010 was misclassified as felony child abuse rather than aggravated assault. So how much oversight does the mayor have over these numbers? Well, the mayor certainly hired Flynn and has lauded his work on this issue, saying that the declining numbers are indicative of the city's success. But day to day, Mayor Barrett likely did not have much direct contact with these figures. Tom Barrett claims violent crime is down 15.5 percent. But the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel found that hundreds of beatings, stabbings and child abuse cases were never even counted. This is misleading. First, this video is from July of 2009 and is comparing the first six months of 09 to the first six months of 08. The Journal Sentinel's investigation didn't look at 08 at all and only part of 09. So this isn't comparing apples to apples or at least isn't using video from an accurate year. The paper's analysis showed the correctly reported numbers would have shown a 1% increase in violent crime from 2010 rather than the previously reported 2.3% decline. Secondly, the paper didn't claim that the crimes weren't counted at all. They said that they weren't counted towards the violent crime rate. The investigation showed that errors in crime reporting didn't affect their prosecution, but rather changed the story that's told about how violent crime goes up or down in the community. Violent crime in Milwaukee is up, and Tom Barrett isn't telling the truth. This is also misleading. First, the quote here is not referencing Barrett. A criminology professor was rather questioning Chief Flynn's leadership. Barrett, since this report came out, says he doesn't believe the misreporting was malicious and, if wrong, should be corrected following an FBI audit to be completed this fall. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check.